everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you guys how to make corn from the microwave and the instant pot if you guys want to know how to make this hit that subscribe button and watch me cook all right we're going to do the microwave version first very easy to do all we need is one corn and a paper towel as you guys see here just a regular corn this is exactly how it was bought and brought home from the store I didn't husk any of it everything is still intact and all we're gonna do is use this one corn in the paper towel and just roll it right up there's a couple reasons why we're using a paper towel one once it comes out of the microwave it's gonna be very hot Two, to keep some of that moisture sealed in there so it doesn't dry out when we're cooking it in the microwave you want to try to keep the paper side where it's opened down so it doesn't unroll while it's cooking inside your microwave and excuse the microwave I hadn't planned on making this video but I thought why not somebody might not know how to do this now depending on your microwave your cooking time may vary mine is I believe 1100 watts and I cooked it at five minutes this can all depend on the size of your corn but about five minutes usually works every single time now carefully using your oven mitt or just a hand towel like I am bring it over to a cutting board again very very hot so you want to be very careful with this you're going to place this on your cutting board you got your knife ready to go we're just going to unroll this be very careful because it is hot to touch and we're going to use that paper towel and we're going to hold it down so just watch from here i am actually probably about an inch worth from the bottom where you can feel the where the bottom is i'm just going to cut it right off from there And as you can see this is how it looks once you've cut it and all I'm gonna do is just pull the husk and the silk right off you may not be able to get every single piece of the silk from the corn but you will get a majority of it off and it's gonna be much cleaner than having to husk it yourself and do it all by hand but as you continue watching you'll see the corn comes right out and look at that fairly clean right let me show you guys the inside if you guys can see you can still see a little bit of the silk inside it's kind of hard to tell I'll try to adjust the lighting but you can see it in there but you see how clean it looks I say this is pretty good for a microwavable version check that out I try to make one ahead of time so it'll be cool by the time the rest of the other corns are done so the kids can go ahead and eat it by then okay instant pot method let's do this Go ahead and grab your corns and you're going to go ahead and clean those off removing all the husk and the silk off of it and then you're going to use a trivet if you have it if not do the whole rolled up balled up aluminum foils and throw them in there for every four corns you're going to use one cup of water i have seven corns now but i'm still going to use up to two cups of water for this excuse the mess again i was not planning on making this video but gotta do what i gotta do right now these corns were a little bit larger than I had anticipated so you'll see that I'm going to do a do over here in just a second when I realize not all of it's going to fit. But do whatever works for you. If you need to break them up, go ahead and break them up if your Instant Pot is a little bit smaller. This is an extra large but I mean still had to maneuver it around a little bit. So do what you have to do adding again one cup of water per four corns inside your Instant Pot. I haven't used this instant pot in a little bit I kind of forgot how to close it for a second <laughs> but I do figure it all out so I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging here so we're gonna close it up make sure you have it sealed in the back and then we are going to press the steam button and we are going to cook this for four minutes obviously we have to wait for the steam to build up but once that steam builds up four minutes is all it takes and then we're just going to release the steam by pressing the valve and then we're going to just let it sit there for a little bit and do its thing and when we open it right back up you're going to see how beautiful these corns look take a look at that wasn't that so easy guys who knew who knew i mean i didn't know so somebody else probably didn't know and this is what i'm here for so as you guys can see i've plated it over here and i'm comparing it with my microwavable one the microwavable one has sat out for a little bit so i guess it did dry up a little but it's still delicious and it was cold to touch so that my kids could eat it right away if this video helped you out at all please give it a thumbs up subscribe like this share it and until the next meal thank you for watching watch me cook